Today we're going to see what happens if we run a washing machine load full of Skittles. Guys, not too long ago we ran a load of laundry in this machine with an entire bottle of laundry soap followed up by an entire bottle of laundry softener. So we wanted to see what else we could do with it and I swear I saw a comment that said we should put a lot of Skittles in and I went back and I couldn't find that comment. I'm not exactly sure where I saw it, but I liked the idea. So today we've got a whole bunch of Skittles and we are going to run the washing machine with a whole bunch of Skittles in it. Here's the basic idea. We are going to take our washing machine and pour in over 10 pounds of Skittles to see what it's going to do to a shirt and to the washing machine itself. Will it survive? Will it be stained forever? And while we're on the topic of staining t-shirts with Skittles, we're also going to try and take a wet t-shirt and place Skittles on it to see if some of the color bleeds out and see if we can sort of tie dye a shirt like that. If we can, how well will it hold up against, say, being washed? Will it be permanent or will it just kind of come out? So we've got our machine. I think we need to pour in a lot of Skittles. I'll hold a few out so we can uh, try and tie dye our shirt while the machine starts running. This should be fine. <laughs> All right, we've got ourselves a washing machine with, you know, this may be the most Skittles that I've ever been in a washing machine. Uh, I don't think many people keep track of that sort of thing, but now we're just gonna turn it on. Oh, let's add one shirt to give a maximum opportunity for staining power. You know, we've got this shirt, it's mostly white. It's got some uh, stains on it. We're just gonna throw one shirt in and see what happens to a shirt in a washing machine full of Skittles. We're not adding detergent or anything either. It's just Skittles in a shirt. So it's gonna be doing like a load sensing thing. It just like twitches around for a while to figure out how much clothing and weight is in there. And then it starts adding the water and then it starts the regular wash cycle. So right now we just see it mixing all these Skittles around trying to figure out what's in there. I bet it's not gonna figure it out. Spinning, but not fast enough to really throw the Skittles to the side yet. I'm sure that will happen at some point. Oh, there we go. Now we're throwing the Skittles up against the wall. Figuring out how the weight's distributed, and again, testing how much is in there. But it doesn't have a Skittles button anywhere on this machine. I check the user's manual too. It doesn't say anything about what to do if you want to wash a bunch of Skittles. So making this up as we go. Oh, here comes the water. It's a very legitimate question about whether or not we will have a functioning washing machine at the end of this. The Skittles could gum up all of the insides or something and it wouldn't really surprise me very much. So it threw all the Skittles out to the side, some fell back in, it's now rotating slowly as it pours water on and all of the Skittles down in the middle, like right in the path of the water, are just getting washed. All of the color is coming off of them. So we've got like pastel Skittles in the middle, brightly colored Skittles around the edges. It does not take long to get rid of the color, like the shells are half bleached out, more than half already. Now we've got like white Skittles. They went from pastel to almost white very quickly. All right, now we've got enough water that's actually starting to pool higher. We're just gonna let this run for a little bit. Ooh, and our water is now visibly contaminated. It no longer is nice clear water at all. It's just red, purple, kind of a muddy brown color water, which is not really surprising. While that's going, we're gonna try our other experiment, which is to take a wet shirt and place Skittles on it to see if the color bleeds out of it and we'll sort of dye that shirt a kind of Skittles tie dye. <laughs> we'll see if we can get any color to sort of bleed out of these. I tried to make sure it's like extra, there's like more water than necessary kind of thing to sort of help make sure the Skittles have enough water to really bleed out their color. Ooh, our first Skittles though are already starting to look at that. You can see the color leaching out from the sides of them. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. It takes a minute, but it's working. Ooh, you can see it drained a lot of the water out and now you can see just thousands of mostly white Skittles. It'll be interesting to see how much of the insides of the Skittles dissolves away. Will anything be left or will it just wash them away entirely? We've still got over half an hour on this thing, so I guess we'll find out. Okay, our machine just finished a couple minutes ago. And coming up here, I'm noticing something. There's no Skittles in this machine. They're just all gone. We appear to have dissolved them away entirely. Let's take a look at our Skittles water. So this is all of the water we got from our one little load there. 
This stuff you can see is clearly tinted red. Not like a nice clean red, but kind of a dirty, mucky red. Smells very strongly of just general candy. It kind of smells like juicy fruit gum. I'm not going to taste this because I'm sure this water does have a residue of laundry detergent and softener in it. And that can't be good. If it were like a brand new machine or something, maybe I would, but I don't trust it. And in this one, you can see there's a lot less color. So most of the color had been washed out here. A little bit of color left here. Uh, we're definitely getting some residue, which smells again very strongly of candy, kind of like juicy fruit. There's nothing really on the bottom. It's not like it pulled little bits of Skittle out. Uh, any bits of Skittle are like what you're seeing on my arm here. I think that's as big of pieces as was left. So for the most part, they're just gone. Got some more of this same foamy residue stuff here. There's really no smell to that. All right, let's take a look at our shirt. Oh, covered, covered in this same white powder, which I think is probably Skittles residue, not soap residue. But surprisingly, no real color change. Like, while the water was that sort of muddy reddish brown, it looked like the shirt had been pretty badly stained, but it looks like it all rinsed out well enough. Let's go check out our shirt that's had Skittles just leaking onto it for a while. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This is exactly what I hoped, is that the water leached color out of the Skittles and it just spread down onto the cloth. So I'm now going to take a shirt and sort of pour off the Skittles into the pan. There we go. Look at that. I don't know if this is at all permanent. It might wash out really easily. Uh, and I think we're gonna do a test. I do wanna let it dry first to see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna let it sit in the sun for a while, let it get some sunlight and some air. And then after it's dried, we'll take a look at it. And then after that, I think we'll just run it through a regular washing machine on a regular, you know, small load cycle and see what happens to it. Okay, well, the shirt has dried at least most of the way and it's, uh it's lost some definition as the water just dried off. I think it ran a little bit. Me squeezing some of the water out, I think encouraged that. And you can see while we have some color, we don't have all the colors. Like there's really nothing on here that looks green. We've got what well, looks some red, some orange, some yellow. Mm, the purple kind of looks like red still. But yeah, most of the green just isn't there anymore. Like there was some over here and some right here. Um, it's not entirely gone, but it's mostly gone. Uh, the back looks pretty similar, kind of bled through. Something that's interesting is it's very uh, crunchy, like starched almost, like the cloth doesn't like to bend. It just kind of holds its shape really well. Uh, so I think it's just got a lot of sugar in it. Um, doesn't taste like Skittles, it tastes like cloth. So we're gonna throw this in the wash, just a quick cycle with nothing else, not even any detergent, just water. And we're gonna see if any of this color stays in there or if it all just comes right out. <sighs> Pulling out of the wash and we have the tiny, tiniest hint of red left up here. And I should reiterate, there was no detergent. This was just washing it with water. So we didn't even use soap and like 99% of the color was just the tiniest hint of pink got left behind. I don't even know if that shows up on camera. It probably just looks like you're seeing my hand through the shirt. It's so, uh, I'm, unfortunately I think Skittles is out as a method of tie dyeing clothing. Very disappointing. Well, Skittles in a washing machine was a lot of fun. If there's anything else you want to see us do with this again, please let us know. Maybe we'll give it a shot. That's it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff coming out. And if you don't want to miss it, go ahead and hit that button right there to subscribe. That way you'll always know when a new video is coming. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.